Berlin was a theater of sympathy. It didn't hide its pain, didn't sew up a wound. It showed itself as it is, even the delicate part of its body of weakness. It seemed that it pleased me to sympathize the other's life. The Parisians who stood up on the city theater also showed their backs which were hidden through the stage of light of the city theater belly. As the back of the moon which had been hidden to the Earthman finally has been shown to the space traveler. People of the past who had stayed at this city appeared to me as the silhouettes of the others on the Berlin stage, which would rather be called a model than a living ground. The registered sound means the time, and it shows the quality of space by the dialogue of the elements, dialogue of the spirits. All the very nature of this city, even the air, resemble the people, that it may be easy to sympathize all the other's life. The city is an art of time. Berlin is the dramatic example of it. I have passed through this stage and watched the beings that were thrown among the times and the space infinite. Now I come to think of it that I have never studied the sky of this city. The sky was an infinite, like water dissolved uh, by a pure white watercolor or a black one. That's why I have recalled the stage of the play Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett. Any part of this stage city has not ever kept the one color of character. Each part of the space has observed the various polar colors Kiaomi, through the time that the human's intelligence can remember.
so the receptive capacity of this day city seems to be infinite. The sky of this city in 10 or 20 years might be the same as today, white infinite, black infinite, in my premonition, because the sky is the abstract painting of the spirit of elect.